You want to lift her up a little bit? She's so sleepy. Why is she all sleepy when she all camera? <laughs> Maybe it's the lights. Maybe I don't it's know. the lights. It's probably bright. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to our channel. My name is Jen. And I'm Shane. And this is Journey. So today we will be talking about something that we actually did a little over five years ago. And that is a move to Florida. Moving to Florida. <laughs> originally from Maryland both from the DMV born and raised and so we just wanted to do something different we were tired of the cold and the weather you know the snow um, you know being Maryland natives you kind of get it's overkill after a while so we wanted to do something different and move down to the sunshine state yes so this video is for anyone that is interested in moving to Florida and doesn't really know where to begin so we're gonna kind of help you guys out with that give you some pointers and just talk a little bit about the pros and the cons of Florida. Mm -hmm. We specifically live in Miami, Florida, if you don't already know that. And we have been here for, like she said, for five years and we have loved it. Mm -hmm. I think first and foremost, the reason why we came down here was the weather. Oh yeah, for yeah. sure. I mean, the winter before we moved down here, it was a big snowstorm. Yeah, it was really big in 2016. Yeah, 2016, mm -hmm. we had snow up. You can't see my thighs, but I mean, they were up to about knee high and we were like okay we're done <laughs> yeah so that was definitely the major factor to relocate to florida but yeah as we mentioned we want to kind of dive into the pros and cons with living in florida so as he mentioned florida is a huge state so you kind of got to do your research a little bit to figure out what is the best city for you we live in miami miami works for us because we enjoy the hustle and bustle but it's not too fast uh so yeah it's just more so about what your interests are and then you should start kind of narrowing down what cities you want to move to because you may think like okay miami's the city for me and as soon as you get here realize that it's not quite for you so so, so uh, let me let me jump in here i think when most people think of Miami, they always just think of South Beach. You always yeah. just think of, and us included, before we moved down here, I mean, the only thing that we knew about Miami was South Beach and the Strip. Yeah. And that's the only place we ever visited. We never explored outside of the city yeah. or came on this side of the water, which is downtown and Wynwood area. There's so many cool pockets to mm -hmm. Miami that we really love, mm -hmm. but I think most people that are of the younger generation, they just associate Miami as Party City yeah. and South Beach, and that's about it. Which there's so much more to Miami than that. You know, if that is your thing, by all means, you know, it is definitely here for you. There is always a party happening, but the really cool thing about Miami is that there's so much to offer as well. So if you're into cuisine, uh, there's many parks, a lot of outdoor water activities. If you're into boating, kayaking, jet skiing, I mean, the beaches, you name it. So there is so much more to Miami than just partying. So just kind of wanted to throw that out there for starters. For sure, for sure. And I think another great thing, another great positive that we really started to understand once we mm -hmm. moved down here is that Miami is a very fit city, too. It, it gets you inspired, not only just from the yachts going by and the beautiful blue water. Of course, that's inspiring, too, but also to keep your fitness in, in check, too. There's a lot of people always walking in the park, running in the park, mm -hmm. doing exercises, um, group yoga. There's a whole bunch of activity outside, yeah. which makes in a lot of fit people here in Miami that makes you want to continue to have your health a priority. Yeah. And I think that's a, a, a big selling point for us mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. going, you know, from the time we came here till now, I think it always keeps us like, okay, we got to we got to stay on the grind. We got to yeah. stay, stay fit, stay looking good, look in Miami trim. So there's tons of things to do, especially outdoors, if that's your thing. There are beautiful cities such as Fort Lauderdale, Delray, Hollywood, Davie, you name it. You can go further north and there's some really cool cities there as well. All right. So Miami, like we said, has a lot of pros, but there is also some cons, some things that aren't so glorified we have seen what some of the job opportunities are here down here as well mm -hmm. and they're not paying as much either i mean coming from yeah. maryland and from the dc area you're you're looking at a much higher salary so for her it was tough trying to 
find something that was adequate that that was good enough pay um yeah i'll let you jump into your experience yeah so i would say um with the job market it's it's very interesting because if you are in the hospitality industry then it will be like no problem at all. Right. Well, I won't say a problem at all, but it will be much easier finding a job because Miami thrives off of hospitality and tourism. So Tur- I would say tourism. Did you hear that? <laughs> that? That was some some Maryland for you right there. That was how am I supposed to say it? Tourism. 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 You said tourism. Tur- tur- I say tourism. Yeah. That's, anyway, that's Maryland speaking. So yeah, the Maryland's hey. coming out. So I haven't been in Florida that long. <laughs> but anyway, tourism um, is what this city is kind of like built on. Uh, so if that is your market, then I feel like it will be easy to find a job. But anything, not anything, but most um, jobs outside of that, it can be really tricky. Well, another con that we want to highlight in case you aren't necessarily aware of is the cost of living here. At the time, we were living in Baltimore because we went to school there in Baltimore. So the cost of living is, is not so bad. I feel like the pay um, compared to the cost of living matches. So you can do quite well. However, here in Miami, the rent can be a little high, and I think that it can be a bit of a sticker shock if you don't go in knowing that already. So I think for us, we were so excited to move here, and of course, you know, he had a job opportunity, so we were going to take it, but when we were looking at the same, you know, places that we would normally look at back at home in Maryland, we were just like, whoo. We talking double. We talking double. Hold on now. (laughs) So that's just something to be mindful of, and again, there are um, cities in Miami where I'm um, in neighborhoods per se, where it's not as expensive, but just p- do your research. One other quick con that I would say is the palmetto roaches. Yeah, I don't I think, I, mm-hmm. I don't know if you know, uh, what a palmetto roach is, but you will quickly understand and know what a palmetto roach is. Once you're here in Florida, they, they get about this big and some of them fly. So no, they, they all fly. Yeah, yeah they, well. so, and that brings me back to the final point that we're going to bring up about the cons because we don't want to just like steer you guys away from Miami. Miami is a wonderful city or Florida in general, but just want to give you guys some things to be mindful of before making the decision to move to Florida. But in South Florida specifically, it's a very humid place because it is very similar to the tropics. So it gets very humid here because it rains a lot. So there's a lot of moisture in the air. And as a result, it does attract those roaches, the palmetto ones. So again, if you do not know what they are and if you are, you know, deathly afraid of bugs, do your research (laughs) and Google palmetto roaches. That's very true. Touching back on the humidity, I'll just sum it up with this. One night uh, we're going out to Wynwood. Going out, getting getting some food, going out to the bar, you know, dancing a little bit. Jen has her hair straight. She has her hair straight, ready, looking good. By the end of the <laughs> night, or actually by the first hour. I was going to say, I don't even think it was by the end of the night. By the first hour <laughs> in Winwood, I mean, that straight hair poofed out like this. Yeah. And mind you, I love the bush. The, the, the bush look. It's one of my favorite looks, but that's not what she was going for that night. It was not the look I was going for. I did not spend two hours straightening my hair for that to happen. So needless to say, throughout this podcast, you won't see my hair straight very often. You'll notice that it'll either be in a bush or braids or slick back. So for my natural girls, if you, you know, for my natural girls out there, keep in mind the humidity is insane out here, especially in the summertime. So you know, just make sure you have your products ready for that. You'll have a lot of sleek buns because the humidity is a little rough. <laughs> <laughs> now to wrap up, overall, I would recommend, and I think you would recommend. Oh, of course. Of course. Okay. <laughs> I had to I had to look to get confirmation. Um, we recommend Miami 100%. We love it here. We've been here for five years. We have no plans of moving. The more the merrier. And I would say if Miami isn't your thing or if you don't know that if Miami is the city for you, that is cool. I would just say do your research. There are so many cities in Florida because Florida is huge. So just try to find if Miami isn't for you, try to find the city that best meets your needs. And just one last takeaway, too. 
is always be mindful of your why, like your mm. why, your reason for moving. Because you may think that, let's say, Fort Lauderdale or Miami is the city for you, and then you move to that city and you're not really enjoying yourself so much. So if you are having a tough time and you're like, well, I can't just pack up and leave, right. you know, I just moved here. Always kind of going back to your why will keep you grounded and will help you get through those tough times where there are a little, some obstacles and just getting adjusted to a new city. Yeah. It happened to me as well. It took me some time to get adjusted to Miami. But overall, I really do enjoy it. We love it here. And so if you are looking to relocate from whatever city you're in to Florida or Miami, we welcome you. Please feel welcome to hit the comments below. Ask us any questions you like as far as the city life here. Um, what it's like to live in South Florida. We love engaging with you guys. So, But all in all, we encourage you guys to take the leap of faith. Mm. Like if it's something that you want to do, you've always been dreaming of moving to Florida or whatever state for that reason, definitely do it. Take that leap of faith. You hopefully will not regret it. And I'm hoping that you got some value from this. So remember, like, comment, subscribe to our channel, get more content. My name is Shane. I'm Jen. Bye.